Hi, this is Chris from Untangled Pearls. Let's, should I wait until I see some people on? Anybody coming? <laughs> uh. Hi, Suzanne. Thank you for coming and joining and supporting me. Not like what I did for you. Okay, so this is Chris from Untangled Pearls, and we're going to start going over a little bit about our second virtual tutorial knit along. Okay, so we're going to wait, wait a couple minutes and see if we get a couple people to come up, and then we will start talking a little bit more about it. I hope everybody is doing very good. Hi, Becca. Hope the foot's doing better. Um, I hope everybody's staying safe and sane in this time um you know i know everybody here at untangled pearls really misses seeing all of our customers and really our family it's, i mean it's like a knitting family here we really miss everybody um i know i am enjoying doing my zoom classes and my zoom meetings with different different students um and just talking and being able to see them all okay <laughs> so Yes, Suzanne, I did get your video. Thank you. Now all I can do is see your eyes in the background. <laughs> so Suzanne is starting to haunt me a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, but if you're online, tell me hi so I can at least know who's here with me. Okay. So we're just getting ready to do our next knit along. Okay, I have started already doing the video tutorials with Suzanne. We filmed a couple last this week, and we'll finish up next week. So we picked the Toff Hat by Wooly Worm Head. I know it's a mouthful to say, but it's a really nice hat. We've had a sample in here for at least a, almost a year, and everybody has made so many comments about it. Pam knitted it up for us. It's a beautiful hat. And I, we've had so many people who were really interested in making the hat or really liked it, but they got intimidated because it had short rows in it or they were intimidated by the way the charts look. And that scares everybody because the charts look a little crazy. So we decided it was a great pattern because everybody really liked it, number one. Number two, it's, we're all going to learn a new skill and we're going to reinforce some skills that we learned in the moon wake. So I hope everybody's almost done their moon wake. I know I finished mine. I really enjoyed it. So now the top hat will come in next play. So we're going to learn some new skills and reinforce some old ones. All right. So the, this, cat, this hat starts with a provisional cast on. So it's the same thing that we did when we started the moon wake. It has a little bit of different ending, but it's the same thing. Then we have short rows. Okay, that's going to be a new skill that we haven't taught, at least not virtual um, with the knit along, like the, with tutorials. I mean, I've taught them in classes, but I will teach. It's got uh, both ways, a German short row and a wrap and turn. And I am so nervous. I know Peg and Suzanne does this, and they look so easy and relaxed, and here I'm a blibbering idiot. Okay, so we're going to, so then we're also going to have to graft. So kind of like the Kitchener stitch that we just did in the moon wake, except this time we will be Kitchenering the garter stitch, which is two knit stitches together instead of a knit and a purl. So it's something new, but it's at the same time like something old. So we're reinforcing things. I think it's going to be a great, good, a great time. So we will have, I will redo the video on uh, provisional cast on. I'm going to do a video on the German short row and the wrap and turn so you can do both and then i'm going to do the video on grafting and we'll do a video on how to carry the yarn up if you look in the, underneath this hat you can see pam carried she didn't cut the yarn she just carried it up okay i might do it a little bit different where it catches somewhere where it's not that big but we, we'll do that but i won't lie i cut my yarn I cut and wove in my ends. I, I like the neater look, but that's just me. 
Uh, I know Pam hates weaving in ends. Okay, so we're gonna have, the tutorials will be up permanently. They'll be up, hi Karen. The, the tutorials will be up permanently. So even if you can't do it right now, you'll be able to do it in the future. The pattern calls for DK weight yarn. We have a, selected a few that we can, you know, let's say, I don't wanna say kit up, but we put a couple of a, a pre-selected groupings, colorways to get that worked well together, but you can pick your own. We have made some suggestions of the Soft Yak DK, which is what I made this hat out of. And we also made a suggestion of the Rowan Felted Tweed, which is really nice and does beautiful color work. It has a really nice texture to it too. And then we have a handful, not a lot, so we're limited quantity on some variegated. We got some limited quantities on those. So, but you can also, you don't have to do it with just two colors like this one. I am going to take my four colors that I used in my Moon Wake. I'm gonna take one color, it will be my base. And then there's three different size petals or leaves, whatever you wanna call them. And I'm gonna pick one size to be each size have a different color. So I will use all the colors I used in my Moon Wake in my top hat. We also will go over, what well, I'm there, we also go over the, the chart. And I teach you how to read the chart. It really is simple. She really did a great job with this chart. It really is simple. It looks a little strange for most charts, but it really is simple. Now, I will say, once you pick your, once you pick your yarn, kind of swatch it. I know, but you're gonna swatch it a little different. I mean, you're gonna swatch it the same, but this is garter stitch. So your garter stitch has a lot of stretch row wise. Okay, so in this case, the row stitch count, the row count is actually more important than the stitch count. All right, so now your garter has a lot of stretch. So you also want to allow for a little bit of negative ease. So let's say you want to do a hat that's going to be for 20 inches around the head. You're going to want to swatch it and see if you can be somewhere in that 16 to 18 range maybe. Okay, three, four inches smaller so that when it stretches you have some firmness on your head if you want a little bit bigger hat you know for your husband or Suzanne then you can I, Suzanne's gonna yell at me now but Suzanne but you can adapt that and you can adapt that and change that by just changing your needle size versus use a three or a four or a five and get the gauge that you need and the fabric you like that's gonna fit your head okay question yes about how long will it take to knit the hat now I do knit continental so I do get accused of being faster than some people but I will say it had a really nice rhythm I knitted really heavily one full day and probably uh you know and I mean not heavily I was on I was on a uh, Netflix binge watching um but I'm gonna say it took me two three days so I would say you, it's as easy something done in within a week. Easy done, okay? Hi, Kathleen, I'm sorry you don't have sound. <laughs> but thank you for joining us. Hi, Tracy. That's my daughter-in-law. Okay, so you wanna do that. Now I know we have a lot of, we have some great knit-alongs going on right now. Peg's got the elder throw and Suzanne's got the new crochet throw and they are Fabulous knit alongs. Okay, this is just is definitely going to be a little bit smaller project that can get done a little quicker. And I really do like the idea that you're going to learn some new techniques and have some new skills. All right. So, if there's any questions, any more questions out there? Oh, I can tell you about the. the let's see here. The gauge. Let's see him. The recommended gauge is. 48 rows or 44 rows, which I think is more important than actually the stitch gauge. Uh, my daughter-in-law sending me kisses. <laughs> so any other, hi, Catherine. It's nice to see everybody. I'm happy, thank you for all joining us. Uh, you don't know how much we all miss you guys. Um, 
So, and has anybody got any questions? Oh, let me show you a couple. Of, let me show you a couple of the colorways we're doing. Okay. So, if you like green, this is like an army green, and I know it sounds like baby poop yellow, but it really looks good together. I use these colors in my cow. In my cow, I use this. This. I'm gonna mess. I'm gonna mess up our colorways that we picked. Okay. And this. This was my cow. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as the base of my hat, and I'm going to put one of these for each petal. And that will make it a really bright hat with a solid background. But How much yarn does it take if you only use two colors? Okay, you're looking about 135 yards to 140 yards per color. Well, you might not need quite as much on the petal yarn. But about 140 yards, 100, uh, give or take. Miss you too, get Jerry. Okay, so you really are only going to need one skein of like this is the soft yak. I mean, which really feels great on the head. It really, it really did not. It, yeah, one skein of each color. Okay, so we put out a couple of different colorways, like we did this. Okay, so blue with a bright pop of purple. Um, we got an orange with a, the orange with, the orange with the blue, blue that, which is University of Florida colors, Tracy. Okay. I got a couple of people saying no sound. What, what type of yarn? Well, they have to turn on their own sound. Oh, um, you might, yeah, they might need to turn on the sound. And then we had like red and gray. Now the, uh, another yarn we recommended was the Rowan Felted Tweed. Okay, and we put a few, couple of colorways here together too, like this purple, and it's it's like a purpley gray. What would you call it? Yeah, it's, it's a gray that's got a little hint of purple in it. Okay, we got some teal family. Now, the great thing about the soft yak, oh, how much is the yarn? The yarn is $14.40 a skein for the felted tweed. It's fourteen fifty for the soft yak. Okay. The nice thing is they're they're smaller balls, so you really only need those two. Uh, so you're looking at not even a thirty dollars for a hat. Now, if you go with some of the variegateds, these are larger skeins. These are a hundred gram skeins. So you've got two hundred and thirty four yards here, and you've got two hundred and forty here. If you swapped which one was doing what, you might get two hats out of this. It would be close. Okay, but we do have some pretty colorways that have some variegated, but they are very limited. I'm not going to lie. Okay. So, you're looking at about, you know, but if you use the felted tweed or the soft yak, which also we will be posting pictures of some of the stuff that we pre-selected, but here at Untangled Pearls, we are a Rowan flagship store. So we have just about every color available of Rowan Tweed and Soft Yak. And even a couple others that we didn't actually put up here that you could use, like the, the Baby Silk Merino, which would give you a brighter, lighter colors. They would be fabulous. Okay, would also do very well in that. Okay, but we but any of our DK yarns would probably work. Um, Soft yarn. Um, they're wondering about how to get the pattern so we can sell it to them or unravel it and then. Okay, so the pattern. Yarn. Okay, the pattern is tough. T O P H, and I don't remember how much it is. Uh, okay. It's on Ravelry, but you can also, if you want to, when you if you order it through us, we will make sure you get it electronically and printed uh, with with your order. Okay, so when you're ready to order the yarn, just ask, and uh, we'll put the pattern with it for you also. But it is available on Ravelry, and we will make sure it's uh, sent to you electronically so that it's on your Ravelry account. Good question. Soft yet, come in white. That's this is about as close as your soft yak comes to white. It is a very, very pale, taupe, taupey gray. gray. It's, it's, 
Soft yak because of the its makeup. Soft yak is cotton yak and nylon. And because of that, well, number one, white yarn, you usually have to get um, acrylic because there's no white sheep. They're either cream or something like that. But be also, because you've got three different types of fiber here, they, they end up taking the coloring different. Okay, so you have this heather look to it. So it's really kind of nice. That's why I love soft yak. Plus it feels so soft. A lot of times knitting in cotton is tough. Um, it doesn't have a stretch and give, but this is like a knitting dream. I used it for my moon wake. I have used it. I used it here. And I think I'm going to be knitting my Edie sweater um, top, summer top in it. Um, which, while I'm here, I'm going to Let's see if we can promote a little more if Shelly doesn't yell at me. We have a couple classes coming up, okay? We're going to have a crochet tank top, but with Suzanne's going to be teaching. Uh, Baby Yoda, Suzanne, which is like that. It's on the new Disney, I don't know, Suzanne will tell you. It's one of those Disney things. Hi, Mike and Connie. That's my sister-in-law and my brother. <laughs> now I'm really nervous. They're down in Georgia. So we got those coming up. And then I am putting up, I just put up uh, a class for brioche. It's a one-day technique class. I'm teaching it twice. Um, we'll do it through Zoom. And then I'm going to put up, we just put up the ED. It's like a t-shirt, summer t-shirt. Um, and that will be another class that is coming up that will be starting in May. So uh, and if anybody is, else is interested in some classes that, that you want to just Drop us a line and we'll take it into consideration. Okay, Suzanne's correct me where Baby Yoda comes from because I have no idea. Because she's got the little one. The Mandalorian show. Okay. I haven't seen it yet. I know what I know who Big Yoda is. I just don't know who ba I know what Baby Yoda looks like. That's all I can tell you. Only because Suzanne's has a lot of Baby Yoda stuff. <laughs> But he is kind of cute. Okay, do we have any other questions? Oh, I'm getting some hearts. Makes me feel good. <laughs> okay, so in a, when we're done going this, when I'm done talking, which looks like it should be soon, okay, we will have a post, and it will show some of our pre-selected colorway and some of the yarn options and we will also will you be posting like the color chart or where they can go for a color chart so if they want to pick their own colorways okay and shelly's also either going to post the color chart or tell you where our, our color chart link so that if you want to pick something different than what we've already got picked out you can turn around and pick out your own two colors for yourself Pam is here. She's great with color, so don't hesitate to ask us. And then when you, I say ask us, I usually send Pam in to figure out the colors for me. Okay? And we will help you along the way. All right, so I hope you join us. We had a great time doing the moon wake. How many of you guys did moon wake? Do I have some people out there moon wake and finishing it? I know Emily was doing it. I know Tracy was doing it. Of course, it now it's a little bit of a mess. Okay. Well, I hope everybody has a great weekend. I hope you join us in this knit along. And I look forward to seeing everybody as soon as possible. Thank you, Tracy. I appreciate it. Okay. So have a wonderful. Thank you. Bye-bye.